I've been looking for a job for over a decade. See, I learned early on in my career that you never really should start looking. See, the really good thing about being successful, you can listen to all the podcasts, you can read all the books, but the fact of the matter is you have to understand that you have to do the things that people just aren't doing. People say they're going to start a new job and then continue looking, but they don't. That's the reality. People say they're going to pay off a car, pay off some credit cards, and then they're going to go invest the money. They don't. But if you actually do those things, you will find that you will probably be exponentially further financially uh, than most. And so for me, I've always been looking for other jobs after because it came to a point where I was trying to build experience, but I always looked at, okay, if I'm starting a new job, do I aggressively look? No. I'm like, that can create burnout. But what I did was I was trying to keep a rather a rather consistent flow of just conversations about what's going on because as you know, we're in an ever-changing market. And though what I thought would be a great opportunity may not exist, but if I'm never looking and never open to at least having a conversation, I don't know what I could be turning down. So it's always better to continue to look, and especially good when you have a job to actually look. But the consistent flow will always keep you in the know of what's going on in your particular market, but then you also are able to take advantage of momentum pushes where pe people are really just trying to hire or just taking advantage of those opportunities that, like I said, would likely be dormant because all those other people are not searching. I've always been looking for a job and I'll stay looking for a job. I've been looking for a job for over a decade. <laughs>